Uh, need is a very subjective word and a very strong word. Uh, it's very difficult to place the word need in front of braces. Um, it's we uh, uh, like to get uh, um, things, the function of the teeth correct uh, early on and also to get uh, proper aesthetics. Um, nevertheless, what we usually see at uh, the American Academy of, of Orthodontics likes to see um, children uh, screened for, uh, the, for orthodontics by the age of eight. And as you come in to your general dentist or to your pediatric dentist, um, most often they will screen your child for space loss, for crowding, for crooked teeth, for teeth that are growing in the wrong spot. Um, so, uh, if uh, you have crowding of the front teeth and the, of the permanent teeth, then um, it's very likely that some kind of intervention would benefit your child, uh, whether it is uh, removal of baby teeth to allow space for the permanent teeth to come in straighter, uh, with the idea of trying to uh, benefit from space that is saved up in the back baby molars, um, or if you have a child who has an excessive um, overbite or overjet where their front teeth are way out in front of the lower teeth or where their um, front teeth uh, have an anterior open bite. These are all uh, concerns that may lead to um, traumatic experiences for your child um, or literally trauma for your child. Uh, if they run into something hard or something hard runs into them, it may be the loss of their tooth or the fracture of that tooth. So we like to see um, teeth to be um, pulled back and uh, orthodontics may be indicated to do that. Um, if you have uh, just a little bit of crowding, um, often a pediatric dentist or a general dentist can manage that through appliances and um, if they find that your child is, uh, has a, the benchmarks that uh, would uh, be beneficial to receive orthodontics, then they would refer, either do the orthodontics there themselves or refer you to an orthodontist.